What is going on guys? It is the real KJ3 back again with another video and today I will be showing you guys how to fix the error when installing Windows 10 on an NVMe M.2 SSD. This method is intended for gigabyte motherboards that have been updated to the latest version of its BIOS. The requirements you are going to need is a Windows 10 ISO and Rufus 3.4. The link for Rufus will be in the description down below. So the first thing you want to do is check and see if the SSD is being detected by the computer itself. To do this, when you power on the computer, press the delete key a few times and go into the BIOS menu. Then go over to peripherals, then go down to NVMe configuration, hit enter and it should give you the information about your M.2 SSD. If your M.2 SSD is detected, go back to the main menu, then go over to BIOS and then go down to CSM support and then disable it. You'll notice if you create a Windows 10 USB installer using the Windows installer tool from Microsoft, it will not be detected. So now, we take it to the desktop and I'll show you how to make a compatible installer with Rufus. Alrighty, so what you guys want to do from here is download Rufus 3.4, the link will be in the description down below, and have your Windows 10 or Windows 8, whatever ISO you're using, ready to be put onto the USB. So when you have both of them downloaded, what you're going to do is you're going to run Rufus 3.4, hit yes for the administrative purposes, and so go ahead and insert your flash drive now, I already have mine inserted, and then where it says select next to disk or ISO image, go ahead and hit select, and I got it loaded here, so I'm going to select Windows 10. Now where it says partition scheme, I left it at GPT to where I make sure that there's no compatibility issues, and it will say UEFI non-CSM, so it'll be compatible, and then what you're going to do is you are going to hit start. Since I already have it loaded up into my flash drive already, I will take it from there. So going back to the computer, while it's powered off, plug in the USB and power on the computer and press the delete key to go back into the BIOS. Go over to the boot override on the last page and see if your boot drive that you made in Rufus is being detected. If so, hit enter on the override and then when you select your M.2 SSD in the Windows installation, be sure to format it and the error message will no longer appear. So that'll be it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a thing or two. Be sure to leave a comment if something went wrong in the process of doing this, I will be more than happy to help. Again, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more computer videos relating to this one. Be sure to check out my Instagram at therealkj3.exe, I post a lot of computer stuff there. And for now, I will catch you guys in the next video, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.